Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the bug assault. So do you have unwanted house guests? Are bugs bugging you? Pests pestering you? And no, I'm not talking about the in-laws. I'm talking about nasty, disease-spreading insects like flies. But don't worry about it, because if you got the problem, I got the remedy. Today on A Closer Look, it's Wired Wednesday. So some people will tell you that you can catch more flies with honey than vinegar, and that's all good if the point is to catch flies. Personally, I don't want to have a fly collection. So if the point is to kill them, you just might want to try salt. So the bug assault does just that. Uses regular table salt like everybody's got in their home, puts it into a form that allows it to be projected at high force and velocity directly at those little critters. Now I did get a chance over the last few weeks to try this out in my own home and got a little bit of footage so you guys can check that out for yourself and see just how effective this bug assault really is. Bug assault. So I gotta say, I was actually surprised when this thing first came in just how powerful it actually was. Check it out. I got a piece of regular aluminum foil here. I'm gonna put the bug assault to it. Bam! Check that out, guys. So the key is if you shoot them from within a few inches, you're gonna be able to get that one shot kill. Never have to worry about looking at them again. If you're popping them from a distance or trying to shoot them out of the air, I find most time the spread gets wide enough that you're gonna knock them out and basically disable them, but it's not gonna be an immediate kill. The nice thing about the salt is, once it impacts on the insect itself, even if the impact doesn't kill them, the embedded salt will begin to dehydrate them. Within a few minutes, they're gonna be completely dehydrated. So I did notice that it's not always gonna kill the flies instantaneously, but it sure as heck seems to knock the will to live out of them. As a matter of fact, a couple minutes after hitting when I was making a sandwich on the counter and he came crawling out from behind the blinds, the sandwich was sitting right there. He had no interest in crawling around on it. It's like, oh, you wanna get back up on that sandwich, crawl around some more? Oh no, I'm good, man. Oh. So it is a fairly effective method of dealing with bugs. It is also, of course, much more environmentally friendly than spraying poisons or toxins into the atmosphere or on the ground. So if you can just deal with a little bit of salt, you know, sprinkled around, they say it's barely like a tenth of a, a teaspoon that actually comes out in the projectiles you shoot. But since you are salting the house at the same time, it does have that secondary benefit of chasing demons and ghosts from the property as well. So the one big downside I would say for this is if you have kids or something, you are going to want to be careful. The warning right there tells you a lot of times do not shoot in the face or eyes of anybody but if it can go right through a piece of foil like this i can't imagine what a salt shot to the eye would do to somebody probably going to dehydrate it just like the insect so i would definitely be careful if you have kids in the house i would say maybe 14 and up for something like this it's definitely not a toy although on a drunk saturday night chasing your friends around the house it is a lot of fun but don't ever try that at home do like I did and go to your friend's house and try it. So I guess on functionality, I'd probably give it about an 8. For fun, a definite 10. Who don't like to do that? Woo! It's almost enough fun that you actually start looking forward to a fly coming in the house. You're like, oh, you done made a mistake now, fly. So all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this closer look at the bug assault. Use the link right underneath the video if you want to go get one for yourself. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on your way out. So make sure you guys tune in tomorrow for Self-Health Thursday with Danielle. Use the link below if you want to check out the bug assault for yourself. And then I'll see you right back here next Wednesday. Have a great week.